In this video, I'm going to show you a few different sites that you can use to amp up your Adobe Spark video, whether it's a book trailer or whatever it is, or to use in other projects as well. So this picture here was taken from Google Photos, which in the next video, I will show you how to properly and easily cite that. So now what I wanna do is I wanna put on a background video for my next page. So I'm gonna to go to my next page and I'm going to go to a site called Pexels Videos. So when you go to Pexels Videos, you can just search. You're not gonna get everything. It's not a Google search. It's not particularly um, everything out there. But so now let's say I want this one, I can click on it and it says it's a CCO license. It's free for personal com commercial use, no attribution required. So you can read what the license says if you want and then you can click on free download. So now it's gonna download for you. And then if you go back to your Adobe Spark video, you can click on video you can find your video and press open so now you can choose how long you want your video to play for you can cut it from either end to a maximum of 30 seconds so right now this video is only 11 seconds to begin with and i'm going to have it play for seven seconds so now i'm going to just press save and now what I can do here is I can put my text over top of my video. Since it said no attribution required, I don't need to worry about citing the source. So now I can just click on this, go to text. And if I wanted, I could even narrate over top of it as well. So now if I click on add another new page, and now this time I'm gonna change my layout to two things. And on this one, I'm going to add two photos. The first one I'm going to get from Pexels Photos. And I'm just going to type in beach. Let's now get this one. Here again, it says it's a CCO license, free for personal and commercial use, no attribution required. You can learn more about it. So now if I, beside the free download, if I click on the arrow, I can choose which size and then I can hit download. For the students, when it downloads, it's going to download right into their Google Drive. So I'm going to say, go back to Adobe Spark, go into my photo, find it. For teachers, it will download into your downloads. So I click on OK or Open, and now the picture went in there. Since it was free, I, didn't, I don't need to worry about doing a source for that one. Now if I go into Pixabay, I can search images here. Not sure what I'm gonna get for kids on the beach. Notice on Pixabay though that they have a row of sponsored images. But then the rest of them are free. So let's say I want this one. It's a CCO public domain, free for commercial use, no attribution required. You can click on learn more if you want. And then you can click on free download. So I'm just going to do a small one. And then it downloads. If you do a larger one, then you have to put in a code or else you have to sign up. But if you do the smaller one, then it's then you don't have to put in any codes. <clears throat> and there's no reason why you would need the full size image. So now if I go back to Adobe Spark and I click on photo, upload, and there I have my two pictures. Now, another thing that people are wanting is they say they want more options for music. And I say, well, you have to legally get the music on there. So if you, there's a couple different sites. There's lots of different free MP3 sites, but you have to make sure that they're legal. So here's one here, and it is called Sound Bible. And so on here, I'm going to type in C waves. You're not gonna, oh, it didn't like that. Waves, but now it kind of has seagulls, different things like that. 
it has a bunch of different things. Um, I'm going to type, I'm going to try beach. Oh, now I have one that's called sea waves. So let's say I want to see what boat docking sounds like. Mm, maybe not. How about sea waves? Well, that sounds good. Now it says attribution 3.0. So let's figure out what that is. So I'm going to open up a new tab and I'm going to type in attribution 3.0. And here, so I'm going to go to the Creative Commons website. So Creative Commons is instead of copyright or it's a new way of copyright. It's people saying you can use my you know, my music, my videos, my photo, but sometimes they say you don't have to give credit, sometimes they do. So on here it says you're free to share, copy, redistribute material in any medium or format. You can adapt it, but you have to give attribution. So that is really important to know. So in the next video, I will show you how we give attribution for this um, sound. So if I want to use this sound, I click on the C waves, and then I would click on download the MP3. So notice that there's a wave in an MP3. I need the MP3. So I'm going to click on download. It's automatically downloading. So now if I go back into my Adobe Spark, I can click on add my own music and I can select the song that I want. It will add it for me and now it's already selected. So now when I watch my little video, my video has a little it has a sound effect, it has a video in it, it makes it just a little bit more interesting. Now, not everyone wants sound effects, and that's what the sound bible more is, is more sound effects, but it, it does kind of give more of a feeling to your, your project. There's also this other website called Ben Sound. So you're not gonna get a, an exact song or anything, but let's say I like there's all these different options across the top here, and there's a search. So now let's say I lay, I want to see what this one is. So I'm going to click on this. And on here, this one says, My music is licensed under a Creative Commons license. You are free to use the music in your multimedia project as long as you give credit to me. So it as simple as either copying this or copying this. So that is pretty easy to do. So now let's say, okay, I like this. I'm going to download this song. And now my MP3 is downloading. Now on Adobe Spark, you can only choose one or the other. So if I wanted this one, I would have to add my music again. And then I would put it in. And then I would have to choose which song I want. So now I have this one. And that is as easy as that gets. And I will do another video quickly after this one on how to cite the music as well as how to cite the pictures that you get from Google. And also, let's say, since this is a picture book, I may have got a picture out of the book and put it on here as well. I'll show you how to do that as well.